Hi friends, today I'm going to be making miso marinated fish. This is the one of the most popular Japanese restaurant staple and it is relatively expensive, but you can make it at home at very easy preparation at affordable price. The black cod is famous for this recipe, but I cannot access to the black cod at my grocery store, but I found a Greenland Halibur, which is similar to the black cod and it turned out pretty good. And I tried making it with tuna to compare the difference. Let's get started. First, wash and clean your fish and pat dry. For marinade, mix 2 tablespoons of one day miso and 1 tablespoon of sake and that's it. I used to make more complicated recipe follow the famous chef adding sugar and mirin and another ingredients. But one day, I just simply marinate it with miso and make it simple, and it turned out great. Since then, I'm keeping it very simple. Mix until smooth. Line a piece of plastic and apply some of the miso paste. Put the fish right on top and apply the rest of the miso paste over the fish. And don't forget to apply each side. Wrap in the plastic tightly and put them in a ziplock bag not to smell in the refrigerator and keep them in the refrigerator for a couple of days. And do the same to the tuna. Slice into 1 cm in thickness and cover with miso paste. And here are the 3 days marinated fish. The salt in the miso draws out the excess moisture from the fish and the meat becomes a little bit firm. That tells you the fish is well seasoned. Before grilling, we should remove the miso paste to avoid burning. I simply rinse off the miso paste. Most cookbooks and the chefs tell you never rinse off the miso, just wipe it off. But actually, I burned my fish every time I cooked 100%. So I decided to rinse my fish and it turned out just great. And the taste is still the same. Trust me. But do not take too much time to rinse off the miso paste. You will wash away the taste and less tasty. Grill on a very low heat for 5 minutes and flip it over and cook for another 3 minutes. Even if you rinse away the marinade, the fish is still easy to burn, so be careful and keep your eyes on that. If you don't have this type of the griller, you can do it in the oven, or you can do it in the frying pan with the lid on. Line a piece of parchment paper in the frying pan and press the fish and cook on very low heat with the lid on. Cook for 5 minutes and flip it over and cook another 3 minutes. Maybe it doesn't look good as the griller, but you can still cook your fish with no failure. When we cook fish, we cook the upper side when you serve for 70% and flip it over, cook another 30% and finish cooking. Okay, it looks so good. Miso marinated fish makes a very good bento lunchbox. Bento is basically you eat cold, so the side dishes should be seasoned well, so miso marinated fish is suitable for your bento lunchbox. And you pack with vegetables with the meal prep and tamagoyaki with crab sticks and garlic chives. Sprinkle some furikake on the rice and top with the kombu tsukudani. And this is fermented brown rice and you can make a healthy bento like this. It's so easy to make Japanese style bento lunchbox if you have a meal prep in your fridge. This is my favorite style of bento lunchbox. The fish is so buttery and flaky and the sweetness and the saltiness are just good. And tuna makes a meaty texture like a chicken breast and it's still so good. I hope you will give this recipe a try. Thank you for watching the video. Give me a big thumbs up and share the video with your friends and families and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Follow me on the social media and tag me on your post if you give it a try. And join my happy eating group to share your food with me. 
and go to my website for more information. And my store on Amazon has pretty much everything that I'm using in my video. Stay safe and stay healthy, and I will see you soon. Bye!